What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Funicello and I am the founder of Soccer Visa. Uh, remember, if you like the content, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. We'd love to hear what you think of our project. We're trying to build a professional club here. Also get players that no one knows, undiscovered players, opportunities to play in front of professional scouts. So comment. If you have questions, we'd love to answer them. Um, and just want to know what you think. So today, um, in a few minutes, we're going to have Will Davis come in here. Will Davis is a 28-year-old striker who's part of our center. And he's a good striker. I mean, he moves like he's 21 years old. And in our first game here at the Development Center, we played against a second division team, and Will killed it. And the president and the head coach were very impressed with Will. So um, he leaves tomorrow for his trial, and basically I want to speak to him about the opportunity. Um, I mean, he's going to make anywhere from five hundred to two thousand dollars per month, plus housing and food, if he can land the contract. Um, and for him, at twenty-eight years old, he's got to go in it because he loves it. I don't worry about the salary or anything like that. I mean, he, the highest level he's played is MPSL. Can he play higher? Yes, one hundred percent. But you know how the football landscape works and how the industry works. Sometimes, just because you're good, doesn't mean anything. Most of the time, anyway. So I'm going to speak to him. I mean, he's. He's a great guy. Um, you know, we, we serve meals here and we serve healthy meals. And sometimes he didn't like some of the food. And what, from my experience, is that's okay. It's, it's okay. It's his opinion. You know, he doesn't like the food. It's okay. But when a club pays for housing and food, sometimes they send you to a restaurant and you get the meal of the day and you don't have a say. And if you like it or not. So I just want to make sure his mentality is right. I want to make sure he goes into this and says, I can do this. I, I'm good enough. Because um, I believe he is, and um, you know, I never had someone in my corner when I went on trial, and I was nervous to say the things I wanted to hear or needed to hear to boost me up. It was always me looking in the mirror. So if I can give him something I never had, that's what I want to do. So we're gonna speak to him. All right, enjoy. All right, first off, how are you feeling? A little nervous. Good. A little nervous. Need your care. Yeah, it's it's the first trial outside of the U.S. That's it's actually my first major trial. That's actually where they came after me. So. It's very nerve-wracking. Yeah, but do you know why they came after you? I'm guessing the game that I played against them. Uh, no, because you're a good player. So um, I wanted to first say I believe in you like crazy. I think you've worked your butt off to get here. I think you, you know, you really focused when me and you. Like I said, I've I've been on your case for the right reasons. I hope you understand that. Mm -hmm. And I think you buckled down and worked hard especially because you're older, so you need to buckle down. You mm -hmm. play like you're 21, 22 years old, so um, I want you to go in there and knowing that I have my full belief in you and just give it everything you have. Don't go in there nervous at all because I believe in you and they called you because they believe in you. Mm -hmm. They can have other, there's agents calling them, there's other players, they get players from Colombia, from Argentina, but they want Will Davis there. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing, though, I'm going to be honest with you, you got to understand how football works now. What do I mean by that? If they give you meals, you mm -hmm. maybe you don't like it, but that's what they give you. So you just got to keep that in mind. Like, mm -hmm. if you need to go eat somewhere else, because, like, I've gone to Iceland, there was a meal of the day. I hated the meal of the day. Sometimes there was fish mm -hmm. that I didn't like. Yeah. So I had to, like, make sure I had something else after. Like, I'd have to go to Subway or something. You know, mm -hmm. It's probably not the healthiest meal. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know... That's just how sometimes clubs work. Um, Salary-wise, if you were to sign, you're looking at like 500 to maybe $2,000 a month. Depends on what they... You don't really have a resume, so I don't know mm -hmm. what they're going to offer you, plus housing and food. But let's not think that far. Let's just think about getting through it. Mm -hmm. And just play, be yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. What about you, anything? Uh, I'm just trying to soak it all up, kind of got real, you know? It, uh Everyone always talks about it, but uh, it got real really quickly. So, every like you said, everybody wants to be it, but they don't want it. And when you're in the hot seat and stuff gets real, it, you're kind of like thankful for all the stuff you put me through because that got me ready for what is yeah, ahead. I and appreciate it's like, that. You know, I, a lot of people, they talk like, oh, he does this, he does that. But you do it for a reason. And like people say, you're doing something out here that's never been done. Um, very few, if any, places are about hard work, and when you put hard work in, there's a result. And I think soccer visa, that's like the core of it. No, I appreciate that. It's like, it, I don't know how to explain it, and... Um, but, well, you yeah. deserve this. I mean, yes, I, I helped a lot because I put you in this environment, but you earned it, so thank you for believing in me. 
And I, I always told you, I don't want you to like me. I don't want you to respect the things I say. That's all. I don't, you know, I walk around and I know people say things because I'm hard and I'm real. Uh, but no one gave me that. And like I said to him before, like, I want to have this conversation because I was nervous. I was yeah. nervous when, and I had no one to speak to. Like, no one. I would just stare in the mirror and be like, all right, you can do this. But I'm telling you, you can do it. I, I have full belief in you. Thank so. you. Sound it means good. a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, just go there, play your game. Um, they told me you're going to play in a game, um, but just be yourself. Um, you're great in and around the area you finish. If you miss a shot, if you do something wrong, listen to me. Biggest thing on trial is because you're so nervous, you, or you're nervous, not so nervous, you harp on mistakes. Mm -hmm. Don't harp on mistakes. You make one, you go on to the next one. It's just the way it works. You make mistakes at practice here, mm -hmm. and you just move on. Yeah. So just that's all you got to do. Um, and tomorrow, we're going to have to get you a bus. you got to okay. get a bus to Tori Alba. Okay. He's trying to get you uh, Patterson to go, but he, it's better he, he stays here with the group. I, so. was, yeah, I was looking at a few things like renting a car, nothing. I looked at uh, Puerto Viejo, nothing. I looked at Le Mans, nothing available. Well, I mean, if we're going to try to get you on the Mepe bus, I think we can get... There's a bus from here to Tori Alba, right? It goes, uh, it goes from here to Le Mans, from Le Mans to Shakiri's, from Shakiri to Tori Alba. I see you saw that already. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, all right, let me figure it out with Celia. I'll speak to her. Okay. And we'll get you there either way. You're going to get there. It's not yeah, a problem. We'll make sure. Um, but yeah, just go to enjoy it. Don't worry about like the locker rooms or yeah. worry about like you could even it's so cheap in Costa Rica. You could even find a way to get your own apartment. That's mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Like so, don't stress anything. Um, just go play, and you love this game, man. You truly love it. So go take it all in. Yeah. As a young coach, it used to be yeah. the national team assistant coach. Okay. So well, let's see. There's a lot of history there, so I'm excited to go. I'm yeah. very very excited. It's like. I don't play for the money. Obviously, I love the game, but I play. I love to play for the people, and I believe that that's, with the history, that's. I've heard a lot of like stuff about it. That's where you know they're in the Premier Division. And they, they fill the stadium, and like, for me, yeah. it's about being under the lights and Before, fighting. You for love me. this game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hope you know I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm hard as fuck on you. I'm, I give it to you real, and sometimes you're like, oh, you know, I know the play, but it's because I, I'm, I'm seriously, I'm proud of you, man. You buckled down. You went up there and you kept your starting spot. You scored. In, you scored in every game, so that's how it's supposed to be. And I said to you, if you score, you things did, happen. Yeah. As a striker and attacking player, you need to put the ball in that. If you do, you, you get people to ask questions. Right. Do you have any more advice for me? Because you've been, like you say, you've been yeah, in the game be, forever. Just be positive. Um, you know, if, just go in there and just be a humble guy and work hard. You know, and but when you're in front of that net, be fucking ruthless. I don't care if you hit the moon. When you get a chance, you see the goal, touch what? Boom. Bang. Yeah. Touch, bang. You know, make them understand you're here to score goals and that's it. Mm -hmm. You're not here to play around. You know what I mean? You're here yeah. to score goals. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, huh, just enjoy it, man. I know you can play in the top league here. That's the biggest thing about trials. And I wish somebody would have told me that. I went on trials that I was a lot better level then, but my fear was like made me play at that level. I'm telling you, from I placed hundreds of players on trials, hundreds, mm -hmm. you can play top league in Costa Rica. I mean, we played Limon, who just came from top league, the striker, you played against him. I think you're, you're better than him, like, you, you, seriously, so you know you can play at that level. Now, you don't go in there arrogant, but you go in there like, I can do this, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't, really have the words, but I just want you to know how much I'm thanking you and Soccer Visa. I remember talking to you a couple of years ago. We were trying to put something together. It wasn't really working on my side. I think we talked a year ago. It still wasn't working. And then it's like the stars aligned and everything just Happens worked. For a reason. Just worked. And it's like, I keep telling guys here because you're like, oh, he's so hard in this. I was like, that's how it was when he, coaches like him are a dying breed. Thank you. They were very, and me and Matt Nigro were talking about you the other day and we're like, dying breed. Like, Coaches now are yes men. They say, oh, you could do it. No, like, you, you told me from day one you tell how it is, and you've been honest and upfront. And when I'm doing something wrong or on the field, off the field, you kick my ass, but you don't, you don't degrade me. You, you, you almost, like, get something better out of me that I, uh, a lot uh, of coaches haven't been able to do. And it's like that's the essence of a, of a good coach, of the Sir Alex Ferguson, the Mourinho's, that's to get your, the best out of your player and... 
a lot of coaches talk, like you said, talk, but they can't do it because they can't relate with their players. They can't, like you said, you're real. So it's it's very good, or it's very like I, it's just hard to find the words. But yeah, I'm thankful, it. and I I'm thankful. Like, this is you say all the time, you can change somebody's life, and I don't think a lot of people believe it, but you can. I appreciate that, and like, it's, and this is the beginning, though. If that's what the story about Alba happens, and you bang goals, I'm going to help you go somewhere else. If it doesn't work out, we got more scouts coming. So you keep banging goals, and I'm going to keep putting your name forward, but you got to just perform. So I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm excited. Don't worry. I'll be, I'll be like, you know, I'm like a little kid when it comes to this. So um, go do it, man. All right? And if you have any questions, if you need someone to talk to while you're on trial, call me. Mm-hmm. All right? Yeah. All right? All right. Thank you, Coach. And so I'll get you sit, situated. Good luck, my man. Oh, I'll see you, all right? All right, man. Thank you. No, no worries.